the biggest celebrity scandals of 2021. This year, Meghan Markle, Chrissy Tajan, Alec Baldwin, Britney Spears, and other celebrities were at the heart of scandals. In 2021, celebrities offered us with a plethora of unforgettable occasions, including weddings and divorces, the birth of children, red carpet, and award show appearances, and, of course, some scandals. Hollywood A-listers certainly gave fans plenty to talk about, from dramatic TV personality departures to stars being canceled. Check out the biggest celebrity scandals of the year below. Meghan Markle, Prince Harry detail royal family rift in tell-all interview. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sat down with Oprah Winfrey for a wide-ranging interview in March, which saw the couple make bombshell accusations about members of the British royal family, including that there were concerns in conversations about how darker son Archie's skin might be when he's born. Despite being pressed on camera and off by Winfrey about who was involved in those chats, Prince Harry refused to reveal. Harry told Winfrey that he felt bound by royal life and was astonished last year when he was cut off financially and lost his security. He also expressed his dissatisfaction with his family's lack of support for Meghan, who admitted her lack of knowledge about royal life before marrying Harry and was subjected to media attacks and fake reports. Meghan also revealed that she had suicidal thoughts while living in the United Kingdom and coping with the royal family's media circus. She claimed she attempted to get assistance through the palace's human resources department, but was warned by a senior member of the institution that seeking mental health treatment would reflect negatively on the family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped down from their royal duties last year, citing intrusions from the British media and discriminatory views against the former American actress. The family now lives in Montecito, California, on the coast. Lilibet Diana, their daughter, was born in June. Chrissy Tajan's Cyberbullying Scandal Chrissy Tajan, the founder of Cravings, came under fire this year after claims of cyberbullying. Courtney Stoughton, a 35-year-old cookbook author, called out the 35-year-old for years of unjustified social media bullying. Lindsay Lohan, Farah Abraham, and Michael Costello of Project Runway have all accused Tajan of cyberbullying. The model was then handed a major setback when allegations surfaced that Bloomingdale's had backed out of a deal with her. Macy's, which is owned by the same corporation as Bloomingdale's, also stated it's not actively selling cravings by Chrissy Tajan on our site, but it's unclear if she'll return in the future. Tajan apologized for her prior behavior several times in public, including in a lengthy Medium article that she shared on social media. She also discussed being placed in the cancel club as a result of the dispute. Tajan posted on Instagram in July, EI, don't really know what to say here. Just seems so odd to pretend nothing happened in this online world, but feel like absolute SHT in real life. Going outside stinks and doesn't feel right. It being alone at home with my thoughts makes my gloomy mind run. But I'm aware that the way I'm treating things right now isn't the best solution I'm lost and need to find my way back. I need to wake up. I really want to talk with you people, rather than pretending everything is fine. I'm not accustomed to doing things any other way. Cancel Club is an interesting concept and I've learned a great deal from it. Only a few people comprehend it, and there's no way to know until you're in it. And it's difficult to talk about it in that regard, Tajan continued, because obviously you seem whiny when you've clearly done something wrong. It's simply awful. There is no such thing as victory. But in any case, there is never any here. All I know is that I love you guys, that I miss you people, and that I just needed an honest time with you because I'm tired of feeling unwell all day. She joked at the conclusion of her article, asking if there was a cancel club reunion she could go to. Britney Spears' conservatorship battle Britney Spears' conservatorship drama was undoubtedly one of Hollywood's most talked-about stories of 2021. In November, after multiple films exposing the pop star's legal and familial drama, a judge finally released her from the 13-year court order. Despite Spears' newfound freedom, a number of issues remain. In her July testimony, she alleged that her father had engaged in conservatorship abuse. She's also suing other members of her family, including Jamie Lynn Spears, her sister, and Lynn Spears, her mother, alleging that they neglected to assist her. While the conservatorship has ended, it is unclear whether Jamie Spears' father, Matthew Rosengard, will consent to be deposed by the singer's counsel. To the extent Mr. Spears believes he can avoid accountability and justice by sitting for a sworn deposition and answering other discovery under oath, he is incorrect, 
and our investigation into financial mismanagement and other issues will continue," Rosengart said in a statement to Fox News in September. Chris Harrison Exits Bachelor Franchise Following a racism incident, Chris Harrison left the Bachelor franchise in June. He came to an agreement with Warner Bros. and the producers. Jeopardy! Ken Jennings, host, apologizes for the dad joke. Chris Harrison is leaving the The Bachelor franchise's host. We appreciate his numerous efforts over the past 20 years and wish him well on his new adventure, in a statement obtained by Fox News, Warner Horizon and ABC Entertainment said. Harrison took to Instagram to send a message to his admirers. I'd had a great time as the host of the Bachelor series, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter. I owe Bachelor Nation a debt of gratitude for all of the memories we've shared. My two-decade odyssey is coming to an end, but the friendships I've formed will endure a lifetime, he penned. He had previously stepped down as host of the Baccalaureate, after defending contestant Rachel Kirkconnell after it was revealed that she had attended an antebellum-themed party before going on the show. After the photographs leaked, the 24-year-old, who co-starred in season 25 with Matt James, the show's first black protagonist, made a lengthy apology. She apologized for her previous behavior, which included dressing up in a Native American outfit and attending an Old South-themed party at a plantation in 2018. Travis Scott's Astroworld Tragedy Travis Scott's Astroworld Music Festival grabbed news on Nav 5 after a claimed crowd surge killed 10 people and injured hundreds more. The gathering in Houston, Texas, drew 50,000 people, according to authorities. At least 13 people were hospitalized after being treated at an on-site field hospital at NRG Park. A mass casualty incident, according to Houston Fire Chief Samuel P. The crowd began to compress towards the front of the stage, producing some panic and resulting in some injuries, the fire chief explained. People started to fall out and became unconscious, which added to the panic. Following the tragedy, the Astroworld Festival's remaining dates were canceled. Scott, Live Nation, and the organizers all issued statements. Our hearts are with the Astroworld Festival family tonight, especially those we lost and their loved ones, Live Nation wrote on Twitter. We are committed to assisting local officials in any way we can. As a result, the festival will no longer take place on Saturday. Authorities are investigating the spate of cardiac arrests that occurred, as they stated in their press conference earlier. Please contact the Houston Police Department if you have any relevant information. In a series of videos posted to his Instagram account the next day, the rapper said, I'm honestly absolutely crushed. Right now, we're working to locate the families so we can help them get through this difficult period. Scott stated that he was unaware of the gravity of the troubles that arose during the show. According to a statement from his staff obtained by Fox News Digital, he indicated the next week that he was still actively investigating ways of communication with families touched by the tragedy. The statement said, Over the last week, Travis Scott and his staff have been actively investigating channels of connection with each and every family affected by the tragedy through the necessary liaisons. He is heartbroken by the situation and want to express his condolences and offer assistance as soon as possible. But he wants to respect each family's, show to those families who would like to contact his team directly. Please submit an email to the below address, where we will have a team on hand to assist. The statement added before providing the address, aw21information at gmail.com. Several lawsuits have since been filed against Scott, other Astroworld musicians, Lev Nation, and others. Ices for how they want to be contacted. Alec Baldwin's onset tragedy. On Oct 21, Alec Baldwin became the focus of tragedy when cinematographer Helena Hutchins was fatally shot on the set of the film Rust. Baldwin starred in and produced the picture, and he has since been named in lawsuits brought by other members of the crew. On the Bonanza Creek Ranch in New Mexico, a catastrophe occurred. Hutchins, 42, and director Joel Souza were shot on the rustic film set in the desert on the southern outskirts of Santa Fe, according to Santa Fe County Sheriff's officials. Authorities verified that Hutchins was slain and Souza, 48, was wounded by a handgun shot by Baldwin, 63. Baldwin said in an interview with ABC in early December that he did not pull the gun's trigger. The Santa Fe Sheriff's Department said it is waiting for FBI results that will reveal how the gun was shot, whether it was by simply pushing back the hammer which hits the firing pin, or by pressing the trigger. Sheriff Adan Mendoza told Fox News Digital, guns don't just go off. 
so he did everything he needed to do to control the firearm, and it was in his hands. Other members of the team who have been questioned include assistant director Dave Halls and the film's lead armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed. The handling of guns on the Rust set was described by investigators as some complacency. They have claimed it is too early to say whether charges will be filed, despite the fact that separate civil actions have been filed over liability in the fatal shooting. Jeopardy! Hosting Controversy Jeopardy! has been on television since 1984, with only a few scandals in the intervening decades. However, the show's recent past has been clouded by controversy, as the hunt for a replacement for late host Alex Trebek led to the hiring of executive producer Mike Richards, who was eventually fired from the position. The ordeal isn't quite finished yet, since Jeopardy! is still on the lookout for a permanent host. For the time being, Mayim Bialik of The Big Bang Theory and Ken Jennings of Jeopardy! fame are co-hosting. Following Richard's decision to discontinue his association with Sony, the two were selected as temporary co-hosts. Richards declared on Ong 31, 2021, that he will no longer be an executive producer on Jeopardy! or Wheel of Fortune. We had anticipated that when Mike stepped down as host of Jeopardy! it would have minimized the disruption and internal challenges we have all faced these last few weeks, Sony executives wrote in a memo to employees at the time. Clearly, that hasn't happened. Richard's departure was prompted by resurfaced scandals from his background. Among them were a few misogynistic statements he made during a podcast several years ago. During his 10-year tenure as executive producer of The Price is Right, he was also listed as a defendant in other discrimination lawsuits, according to Variety. Shake out the talk. After years on the air, Sharon Osbourne was accused of racism, which led to her leaving the talk after years on the show. In March, the former reality star said she'd chosen to depart the long-running CBS daytime talk show. Her departure came just weeks after Osborne, 68, and co-host Cheryl Underwood had a heated exchange in which Osborne expressed support for Piers Morgan after he left Good Morning Britain over differing opinions about Meghan Markle following the Duchess of Sussex and Prince Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey. Everyone involved, including the audience watching at home, was outraged by the events of the March 10 telecast, CBS said in a statement. It went on to say, During our investigation, we discovered that Sharon's actions toward her co-hosts on March 10 did not reflect our values for a respectful workplace. We also found no evidence that CBS management steered the conversation or surprised any of the hosts. <laughs>